guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I have always wanted to own the books from Tomislav Tomic. Um, don't ask me to say the titles of the books because <laughs> I suck at that. But I've always wanted these books and they've been hard to acquire. A few years ago they were easier on Amazon and I waited too long and I couldn't get my hands on them anymore outside of ordering on Etsy or, you know, basically anything but Amazon. However, I was able to get two of these from Etsy and they like shipped from South Korea to here in like four days. It was insane, <laughs> but that's a whole other topic. And then I was able to find the other two books that I wanted on Amazon UK. So I basically did a bunch of workarounds to get my hands on these, but I have always wanted them. So I'm going to do some flip throughs of the books as I get them so you guys can see what makes them so freaking adorable. So let's dive in. Make sure everything is on screen. There we go. Okay. So of course none of this is in English, <laughs> but the cover is attached. It's really smooth though, so it's not like the Johanna Basford ones where I could color this part. I could, I would just probably need to use marker. So the title page is really pretty. I love all of the artwork. Like I said, I've always wanted to have these books. So here is like the little intro page. And look at all this detail that I could color. Again, none of it will be in English. And then we've got like all these butterflies here coming out and like the little fairy butterfly. I've seen so many people color in these and they're just so pretty. This one would be fun because all these castles just look like they're high above the clouds. You could do something really fun with that. This unicorn one is so pretty also. Uh, the leaves kind of remind me a lot of Johanna Basford, like, in style. So if you're a fan of her artwork, you know, you might enjoy these. But then look, we got the little fairy with her butterfly wings. But this page is so just adorable. We got the birds. And this isn't a double page spread. They're actually two different pages. So you could treat them as a double page if you want or keep them single. And this one looks so cool. So see how his tail is wrapped around on the other side of the forest, but the forest is coming out on top of his head there. Like I said, I've always wanted this artist's work. Oop. If I can get these open. <clears throat> Little tree house. And then this is kind of like the zoomed in side of the tree house. pretty underwater scene. This one is a double page spread. You can see where it connects to one another. That would take a lot of time, but it would be a lot of fun. Here's another double page spread. If the book wasn't so well made, I would probably break it out of the spine and rebind it myself because <laughs> this spine is kind of annoying. I just need to work it a little. So this is really, I've seen this page done a few times. But like here we have our, our Snow Queen version. Look at that other tree house. And see this is a double page spread. See the tree starting to come out of there. All of this is just so lovely. And look at this double page spread. This one, I did actually peek through this whole book <laughs> before doing the flip through. But I was super excited for this double page spread. This may show up in my May pages. I've gotten so many books this month, though. I'm kind of scared I might overdo it. This one's pretty cool, too. This would be fun. This little mushroom village I've seen done a few times. It's also a double page spread. There are quite a few double page spreads, and they're pretty elaborate, but they're not so elaborate that they're intimidating because they're really pretty and fun. It's not like Kirby Roseanne's double page spreads where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be here a year. <laughs> you know, at least for me. I like this one too. 
Here's another double page spread. See, it kind of reminds me a lot of Johanna Basford, like the brickwork and whatnot, but still, I really love it. These elephants, this is adorable. This is also a double page spread. It actually connects here at the bottom. Another double page spread. Like I said, there's a lot of them, <laughs> but like, I mean, this would be so fun to tackle. This would take you a while for sure. It would take me a while, but it would be really fun. I mean, there is so much detail in here. I mean, not only do you have like the trees, the flowers, you've got like this little dragon or, oh, there's another word for it. But I mean, and like, he goes all the way over here and he transfers over here. Like, I mean, there's so much to work on in here, but it would be fun. And then check out this double page spread. <laughs> this one is a lot to work with, I know. But like all of these I'm excited for. This page I really want to do also. I don't know why it just popped out to me. This one, look at this. A little Pegasus, but with like butterfly wings almost. I mean, all these are so pretty. This double page spread also. This would be a fun one for fall because you could do these like sunflowers. Again, double page spread. What I like though about the double page spreads, do you notice, see here, like you don't have something intricate in the middle here. Like a lot of artists, They'll have like a flower just like right up in there and half the petal is right here and here and you're like, gosh darn it. <laughs> but you'll notice a lot of the double page spreads have something rather simple in the middle so that you're not like struggling to color something right in the middle of the spine. See, example here, tree trunk right here in the middle for this double page spread. I did notice that this artist does that and it's, it's actually... Something you don't think about when you first look at a double page spread, but once you start on one, it can be really obnoxious when something heavily detailed is right in the middle here. So it's nice that it's something simple. This one's cool too, but see what I mean? Look at what's in, in the middle of the spine here. Nothing transitions over. The boat's little mast or whatever stops here. The cloud even stops there. This little cloud is all that transitions over. So it makes coloring these double page spreads a lot easier. Plus this is a boat full of berries. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. I've actually seen this colored by a few people. This one is really pretty. Now this is one where the spine, you know, has stuff in the way. But like I said, a, a lot of them, you can tell the artist thought about like the pain that it would cause and put stuff simple. This one is super adorable too. He's like riding the frog, the flying frog. And look at all these. They're very like magical, mythical books. This would be so fun to do with all these butterflies in the sky. But you'll notice Again, in the middle of the spine, none of the butterflies are like being cut off. They're all on their own page. Check out this double page spread. Look like a rooster pulling a big grape vine basket. It's very unique. Like it just, I mean, like I said, the leaves remind me a lot of Johanna Basford, but the, the rest is incredibly unique. Like, check out the detailing inside the horse. Do you have to color that all, like, in? No. You could just leave it as is or just use silver. You don't have to go crazy here. But I just love these pictures. Like I've said, I've always wanted to own these books. And so this month I was like, I'm going to find a way. I don't care how. <laughs> if i got to go hunting on eBay... I'm gonna get them. Someone had told me they were on Book Depository, but I can't find them on there. So I don't know if they're just kind of pop up when they pop up. I don't know. But I couldn't, when I searched for them, find them. It's a really good one too. This one is so pretty. Like I said, it's just double page spread madness all up in this book, <laughs> but they look so fun. I mean, look at this one. She's playing a harp. He's playing like a lute. 
as they, I would call it. And you don't have to treat this one as a double page spread. You could totally keep these separate because they have like these cool little vines. This one, he's riding the mouse into battle. Just gorgeous work. Very pretty. I've seen this page done a few times too. And this one is so cool. It is a double page spread. It's deceiving at first, but see the tree actually goes here and then carries over. And then this little, um, oh, I forget the name of these lions are with wings, but he's got his own frame. They actually go together. And check out this one, like the fish with the house coming out. Cool too. Cherries. I'm trying to find. Oh, his head's right here. Got a castle. And then the last page of the book. I like how the fish border is. And again, it's just, it's really smooth. So you'd probably, if you were going to cover like the page and whatnot, you'd have to use marker or something for sure. It's just not color pencil friendly. Well, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that flip through. I know there's probably videos out there, but I just wanted to put it on my channel because I'm super excited that I have been able to start collecting these books. I've always wanted Tomislav Tomic's books, so <laughs> I'm like extra giddy. But yeah, most likely one of the books will be in my May coloring bag. So can't wait to show you guys when that comes around and the rest as they come in. If you have this one, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if there's an easier way to find these and I'm just being an airhead, but I am having trouble finding these books the easy way. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time, take care.